Welcome to Intel Form program. In this short film, I will show how to define the typical structure. We start with sections definitions, which will be used in our project. I defined a few sections for columns and bins. By default, on 3D view, sections are shown according to material color, but here I use the possibility to assign color for sections. This will override default settings, so different sections from the same material will have different colors for better clarity. Defined new sections will be automatically saved in our project and can be also saved in sections database for later use. In the next step, I assign some of these sections as default sections. It means that these sections will be automatically assigned to appropriate elements in new masses. I do it for columns and beams in this example. Let's start to define the structure. As Intel form is parametric modeler, our structure will consist of masses, which are independently parameterized. I set a name for the first mass, I change its height and I define a mass contour. Any polygon can be set as contour. Here we use a rectangular one. Then we defined axes. They can be assigned for each contour independently. Now we automatically create internal lines. They can also be created manually by clicking snap points on 2D view. Now I switch off corner columns and upper roof slab for this mass. Next step is line parametrization. We can do it for contour lines, which are always created automatically, based on mass contour, and internal lines, which are created by the user. I assign beams with appropriate sections for chosen lines and middle columns for two external lines. And we are ready with first mass. It is the bottom middle part of the structure. The next step is staircase definition. As in this case it is not a simple staircase, it will be modeled by a few masses. First, I add a new mass, I set a name for it, for it and as previously, I change height and disable roof slab. Then I add a new contour. It will be also rectangle, where I defined one axe and internal line. By default, axes are created in equal distances between existing axes. In this example, we need to change axe position manually. Now I assign this new contour to the second mass and I change mass position by associating a contour line of one mass to appropriate contour line of another mass. When later this another mass will be moved, associated mass will be also moved automatically. Now as previously, I parameterize chosen contour and internal lines by assigning beams to them. Finally, I will move down both masses. I do it using multi-selection. Thanks to it, each mass parameter can be changed at one time for many masses. Let's go further. I create a middle part of the structure by copying a bottom part. For correct positioning, I use vertical alignment of this middle part in relation to bottom part. Then I set mass height, number of stories and color of slabs. In one mass, all stories are always parameterized in the same way. As in this mass, we use the same contour as for mass below we can also use internal lines defined for this contour, but we can parameterize them differently. Here I add smaller beams. If I would later change some axis positions in this contour, internal lines would follow this change in all masses with this contour assigned. Now we come back to staircase definition. So I copy bottom part, set appropriate height, and number of stories. During mass copying, we can choose between copying the mass shape with or without structural elements. So far we always used this first possibility. For stairs definition, I will use the second one. In Intel form, we can display all masses or only selected masses separately or on the background of remaining masses. For stairs definition, I will use predefined template consisting of two flights and two landings. I only need to choose a rectangular contour 
in which staircase must be fitted. Should be the same as previous mass contour. Stairs parameters are calculated automatically. And finally, I assigned stair section as mass contour. As we need additional beams on the landings, I will use it use for it another mass with simple parametrization. First I copy mass shape, then I double number of stories and set beams on the required contour line. I don't need to worry about elements which will be in the same place in different masses. Program will automatically detect and remove such elements. We are ready with staircase. For clarity, I even changed the name of last mass. Now I'll, I would like to have a staircase also at the right side of our structure. So I select all masses that make up a staircase and copy them. Finally, as I was doing earlier, I set horizontal alignment of these masses to middle part of the structure. Let's imagine that we need to have first flight of stairs aligned to external edge of the structure. To achieve this, I simply copy stairs section, assign this new section to appropriate mass and set a mirror reflection flag for this new section. Right staircase is automatically rotated. And finally, the definition of last mass with a little bit more complex parametrization. I add a new mass and set its name and I go to contour definition. It is a long and narrow rectangle as it is a kind of overhang. By default, contour definition is done in middle window, what is sufficient in many cases. However, we can display it also in view window, if greater zoom is required. We need to define access, which will fit access defined for existing masses. So, for some of them, I enter the coordinates manually. In this case, they are aligned with staircases dimensions. Other are created automatically at equal distances. After automatic creation of internal lines, we are ready with contour. Now I assign just defined contour to the mass. This mass will have one story less than the whole building, not counting underground story. So I set appropriate mass height and number of stories. Then I aligned horizontally this mass to the front face of the building and vertically to its upper surface. As this mass doesn't touch the ground, I switch on lower slab. Then corner columns parametrization. I need to change the section for smaller one. For corner columns, it is possible to switch off columns in any corner. We can do it in a small, dedicated viewer, simply by clicking on required points. Then last task, contour and internal lines parametrization. As shown earlier, we can freely switch between the whole structure view and selected masses view, if we need to better track changes in chosen part of the structure. So hope I hope you are familiar with the method. And in this mass, only two new things. As mass doesn't touch the ground, we need to have also beams at the level of lower slab. I do it by clicking lower beams option. To have columns on external face of mass, we can use middle columns option on required internal lines. By default, they are positions in the middle of line, but we can force the exact position by disabling the option equal distances and entering proper relative coordinate value. Interform possibilities are much greater, especially in case of structures with more advanced shapes. For example, with curved lines on edges or fancy roof surfaces, but also in case of let's say typical structures like this example, we can significantly improve our current way of modeling using parametric approach. 
I completed this task in about 10 minutes, what seems to be about 30% quicker than doing it in traditional way. A reference example, RSA School Modeling Part 1, can be found in the network. Now I will export the whole structure to Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis Program using dedicated API interface and saving it in RTD format. Intel Form supports also other formats like DXF, IFC and OBG. Thanks to it, model created in Intel Form can be easily exchanged with other commonly used programs. Model exported in RTD format is calculation model, so after opening it in Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis, it is generally ready for calculations. In traditional modeling, once model is created, modifications are relatively difficult and time-consuming. These modifications may come from project changes in later phases of design or mistakes in modeling. In practice, Many of these operations must be done manually, if, for example, some axes change their position. Innovative parametric approach gives a unique opportunity and benefits. By simple means, we can adjust our structure to new demands. I will show two simple examples of such modifications. First, let's imagine that we would like to change a little the height of stories. I select appropriate masses and change their height. As last mass was defined separately, I also need to adjust its height. We can see that the whole structural system has been automatically adjusted to new story height. Another example is contour modification. After changing one of the contour dimensions, internal lines are automatically regenerated and we immediately get the required structural system. Thank you very much for your attention.